Hey guys, Beer Stock is here. We got Raul, Justin, Abby. Again, we have another spotlight video. We have Melanie from Site One Brewing. She is the head honcho of the whole place. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, today we're going to go ahead and learn more about Site One. So, as uh, we'd like to do the first question, why do a brewery? Yeah, that's a, that's a very good question. I ask myself that regularly. <laughs> um, it's, it's been such a fun learning experience. I actually grew up uh, in Iowa and went to school for event management. So I was running events and I worked at a winery before I even worked at a brewery. Um, and basically we just saw, I mean, I would say most brewers pick breweries because they care about beer, right? And we cared about solving a problem. Uh, so in Nebraska, the craft brew scene is about 3.4, 3.5% of all beer consumed is from craft breweries. That's really low. Yeah, okay, that, that says a lot about our Bud Light, Coors Light, uh, Miller Light drinkers, PBR. right? Stop yeah. like that. Bud Light, yeah. I'm sorry. You're part of the problem. <laughs> I didn't say it, she did, but I'm not arguing. Um, and so we were like, well, how can we help move that glass ceiling out of the way for brewers? Um, and we found that you know, most brewers open their own brewery, but they're not going anywhere, right? Yeah. Joe Schmo up the street opens a brewery, he's going to work there until he dies. Mm -hmm. And that, as they should, he or she, that's their baby, right? Yeah. So, for us, being more business-centered minded than even beer minded, we were like, well, how can we get brewers to then go to our other brewery? So we thought, well, let's make a goal to open a brewery a year. So site one is the mothership, um, and once we worked through the business plan, which took probably a year and a half to write and vet and you know get all the data for, um, we honed in on the size of brewery that would work well. And uh, <laughs> I mean, like I think we spent we went to Colorado to do a little research because um, their laws there are like way more relaxed, so they could tell us like everything, the inner workings, and show us everything, and um, we realized that a lot of breweries in Nebraska have barrel systems that are just too big. They're too big, they're inefficient. And then they get these yields that they can't move, right? And so then they're sitting on this beer for too long, and that gets frustrating, mm -hmm. and they don't have enough fermentation tanks to make all the different types of beer. And so we were like, well, what if we double down on variety of beer, double down on brewers so that they're not overwhelmed, and subsequent, at the same time, subsequently be building the next brewery. So these two guys are here for a year and we'll move one. One might stay, I mean, there's so many things to work out, <laughs> but one will go to another brewery and run it, and there'll be a site one brewery, but they'll have their own name. Uh -huh. Site two, site three. So, yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, like what's my next? I can't remember what the next one was, but I have it written down in a note. You know, like when you scribble, like, that's a good idea. Yeah. Um, so we wanted to, we, basically it wasn't about beer, it was how do we solve a problem for people mm -hmm. that do really cool stuff. I mean, beer is really cool and it, they're like magicians in there. I don't yeah. get it. Um, but also, how do we like make people's dreams come true? So that's, that's why we do what we do. Yeah. That's why I wake up in the morning, because I'm on to see these guys go be bigger and better and I want to bring in two more people and put them through it. So they've, they've got the system figured out and that's super fun, works well. Now they get to come over to my side of things and start learning taxes and <laughs> law and legislation and how to manage a staff and how to manage a front, front of house, back of house. Like it's, it's a lot. So, yeah. so it's, like, it's like sort of a launch pad for brewing businesses. Yes. Okay. Not to be confused with Launchpad Brewing in Aurora, Colorado. Which is a different place. Which is a different place <laughs> because our first name was Launch Brewing. Ah. That's when we became known to them. <laughs> um, yeah, mm. so site, yeah, we got a little cease and desist, which is also very common in the beer world. Oh, wow. Um, yeah. yeah. That happens all the time. Yep. So once I learned that, site one, <laughs> nobody's sure. <laughs> site one. So, yeah, that's, that's kind of the like shortened. 
That's awesome. That's awesome. I love that. No, that's a that's a very interesting business model, especially. Now that helps explain the next question. Why side one? Because they got a season to season. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a better story. Yeah. Well, there's more to it. But <laughs> U.S. code mm-hmm. for a location in Russia where they launch rockets. Um, site one and site two, Artemis one and Artemis two. So if you're on Russia's side, if you're a cosmonaut, you're going to refer to it as uh, Artemis one. Mm-hmm. Uh, the U.S. refers to it as site one. Um, so that was the first place where Russia and the United States worked together to send people to space. Oh, all right. Also, nice. the first dog went to space, didn't come back. Uh-huh. Um, but <laughs> We thought what better than two opposing brewers, two opposing styles, mm-hmm. coming together to work together and fill 20 tap lines. Oh, that's awesome. Nice. Yeah, so it worked out. I mean, no, it's yeah. really for the better almost. Yeah. So. Okay, cool. Thank God yeah. that season is Right? <laughs> I, would have said, I did not say that when I got it, but now I'm yeah. glad got it. Of course. <laughs> it's a yeah. very interesting history. And then so, uh, with like the 20 tap lines, so yeah. you guys produce like the beers in like smaller batches than another brewery would? Yeah, so um, I did a lot of stocking, mm-hmm. truly. <laughs> I would get on, yeah, I would get on internet, I would Google search a brewery and I would see what other people have uploaded so that I could figure out how many barrels they had in their brewery and how big their tanks were. Because ah. they're all labeled, right? That's oh, yeah. what they, they have to be labeled. So if I searched long enough, I could see like, oh, for, their fermenters are six. And I would put it in my spreadsheet. Yeah. So on our way to Colorado to learn how Colorado does things, that's what I was doing. <laughs> so we took the top 10 performing breweries, micro or um, craft breweries in Nebraska and the top, or the lowest 10 performing and we compared what they're doing and throughout all of them i mean this is no this sounds like i'm the smartest person <laughs> we just found that they were inefficient for what we want to do yeah and the next breweries will be even smaller barrels so we're in um four five six barrel tanks and we'll be two three oh, next okay. ones. cool yeah i want to say you are the true beer stalker i yeah. think so right <laughs> you've done I all call, the i bad. call breweries i <laughs> ask them randomly i talk to other Mm-hmm. Like, hey, do you know what their system is? No, that's amazing. Yeah. That's really awesome. Wow. That's really cool. Um, so, is there like any specific advantage you find to being a brewery that also, you know, has a menu of food? Because we've been to a couple different breweries. Yeah. That their thing is like we have like just alcohol, and if they have food, it's like we have some snacks, mm-hmm. like, pretzels, here's some pretzels. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, so that was a big thing when we were building site one i was really adamant on experience um so i think experience and the atmosphere is really important as pun intended um atmosphere food and beverage okay so i knew i could control atmosphere i that's it's an easy thing to control i can tell my staff i mean i can try i can tell my staff how to act i can paint the walls blue i can make we can pick the music i can do the design that's that's easy I have no idea what the beer is going to come out of the tanks because I don't make beer and I didn't know the brewers from Adam before <laughs> we hired them. Food, I could control somewhat yeah. more. No, yeah. Because it's yeah. standard, right? And you like dress it up. So I was like, well, we have to hit two of the three every time someone comes in. <laughs> and that's why we decided to do food. Um, it also keeps people longer. Oh, and okay. if it's a little bit saltier, you're going to sell more beer. I mean, that's just yeah. why I mean, most people do so peanuts. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, it's very common. I mean, I saw, pop, I saw movie theaters get you with popcorn. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. So true. Because um, let me tell you, those bags of uh, soda don't cost that much. No, they don't. <laughs> um, for <laughs> as many sodas as they produce. <laughs> so, yeah, that's why we picked food and wanted it to be just a place where you could really come and hang out and it's another reason why we have a full wine list and a full liquor list and cocktails and every cocktail is available na with our house made spirits because we want everyone to feel like they can be here and get the experience of having a drink in their hand even if they're not partaking in the alcohol part mm-hmm. cool 
if you say NA is not alcoholic, yes. make sure you understand that. Oh, <laughs> so I, I heard NA is like, what's not applicable? <laughs> oh, okay. yeah, hold on, hold on. We're talking about we're, we're in a brewery with non-alcoholic. Non-alcoholic. I will say I really want to try the vegan egg rolls. Or are they yeah. spring rolls? Vegan egg rolls. I think they're egg rolls. They're egg rolls. They're egg rolls, but they're egg rolls. But the, the vegan egg rolls. Yeah. Rolls. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I'm excited. Good. I, I'm definitely going to try them before we leave. <laughs> yeah, we've gotten some pretty good reviews on those. Hmm. Yeah. Nice. So, Maura, did you have a question on? I forgot my questions. Okay. Oh. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, 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 too many things happened, I forgot to print it out. Is that your paper again? No, no. <laughs> you yeah. this time. <laughs> yes, yes. Second time I forgot the paper. Oh. Oh. It's okay. Oh. So, uh, carrying this whole thing on my back and I forgot a paper, look at that. <laughs> so do, uh, like, what you guys end up deciding to do on food, or for brewing, does that affect, like, your menu for food? Like, do you like to have, like, complimentary pairs? Mm -hmm. It's okay. more the other way around. So, okay. brewery, we're brewery first, mm -hmm. food second. So, the beer has to shine. Um, okay. And they will brew, in general, what they want, and then our chef will test like try it along the way mm -hmm. and build menu items mm -hmm. um, cool. we have a brewer's board which is three cheeses and four beers that are all paired together so you're supposed Ooh. to eat them in order oh, um, nice. but the brewers do that with the chef so that it all works out um, and then you I mean every morning like clockwork Maddie the chef comes in and says well what beer do I make the mustard with today <laughs> and the brewer will be like one of the brewers will be like try this like we think It'll be good. Mm -hmm. So, well, that's cool. Yeah, it changes all the time. Having the collaborative yeah. effort between like what what are the popular brewing flavors versus right. you know what's going to go on a plate. Yeah, like the Fiesta de Sol was easy for us because it's a Mexican lager, so oh, our goal was to release it the week of Cinco de Mayo. You know, like so Mexican lager, huh? Sounds familiar. Yeah, it's almost like I got a thing for Mexican lagers. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean that if you get a good Mexican lager lager period. It, it's it's a nice go to. Oh, for sure. Uh, as we said, uh, Infusion has their uh, Squacho. That was Squacho. Yeah. Um, still another Mexican lager. That one's good. Um, they gave me a little taste of the PS. That's all great. Uh, I might have to get a full pour on that one. Yeah. <laughs> see, recommend. see, they went for a flight to taste. I went. You know what? I'm going all out. Yeah. Which two did you? There's get? just so many. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, I know what you it mean. Only four of these to get all the beers. So. Yeah, I, I feel it. That's, that's, <laughs> I mean, that's why they have crowders too. Yeah. Crowders and 16 ounce cans. But I got no. one and I'm... I, I mean, who says you have to pick one? You just pick them all. <laughs> okay, I'll buy 20, 20 growlers. <laughs> okay. I'll buy 10, you buy 10, we're good to go. Oh Surprisingly enough, that's on the record. We've oh. had other people come in and They're just like, put us out of business. Yeah. Tax day. Yeah. <laughs> Next tax day. Yeah. We're buying all the, well, all the beer. No. Um, the um, horn the uh, horn of berries. Horn of berries, and then the new guava lime um, stuff goes. Yep. Yeah, so good. as uh, before, we even started. This was supposed to be clear, and uh, Melanie freaked out. <laughs> as, and then when she went to go find out why it wasn't clear, I was all like, oh. If it's uh, like that, it's probably the puree coming in. Um, it's a brand. It's a brand new um, offering that they have today, mm -hmm. um, the twenty eighth of May. So, as you know, whenever this comes up, who knows? Three months from now, I doubt yeah, it. Right? Uh, <laughs> but you know, it was all like, oh, that's the puree. It's brand new. You know, it's taking the puree. It's all good. More flavor. Yes. And, awesome. and, and when she, after I finished saying that, she walked in. Oh, it's uh, it's just the puree. I go. Ah. You nailed it. I was all like, oh, the knowledge. Thank you so much. <laughs> uh, I guess that brings up another question. Yeah. How frequently uh, do what, like, does what you have on tap change out? Like, I reprint the menus every week. Every week. So oh, we're wow. either taking something off or putting something on. Some weeks we'll have two new releases. Mm -hmm. That's more like if we had like an eight, you know, an eight week like quarter or stout, mm -hmm. and then we have a two week. IPA, hazy IPA, like they happen to come out at the same time, um, then that works. That works out pretty well. But it's probably it's probably one beer a week, okay. which is nice. Which is feels like not a lot, but it's a lot. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I know when we're like, oh, man, we're <laughs> shuffling because on the menu I'm like, oh, 
out, in. <laughs> yeah, is that, um, since you've done so much research on yeah. other breweries, is that typical of other breweries? It doesn't seem like no. it would be. Yeah, so, and that's not a bad thing, right? No. Like, we, that's kind of part of our, like, shtick, is that we want to elevate what everybody does, but that means that we're always improving and always changing. Mm -hmm. um, and kind of like the entrepreneurial feel. Like, when you come in, it might not be the best beer, but, like, please give us feedback, right? Mm -hmm. Like, we want to know how we can improve. You're trying things out. Exactly, yeah. So, we found that there are two that are very, like, our standouts. So, that's mm -hmm. the Starburst hazy IPA and the Moonshot Coffee Porter. Well, the Moonshot Coffee Porter went off the menu and people lost it. <laughs> They're rioting in the streets. So we were like, <laughs> okay, we should probably bring that one back. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be a little while, but like, let's yeah. get it out yeah. there, let's work on it. Um, but for the most part, people are more excited to have something new than they are to go back to something old for mm -hmm. us. Um, and we have 20 taps to brew, to fill 20 different beers is an undertaking, yeah. Um, oh, yeah. to be frank. So <laughs> it's, it's a big one, and I, you know, I didn't know when I signed up for 20, because you just pick up pretty brass. I was like, yeah, 20 sounds good, we can do that, yeah. let's do it. <laughs> um, and that worked out well, um, but yeah, ours just, they don't, they stay on until they're gone, and, some weeks we're like we're gonna blow through four of them. So the brewer, but the brewers, man, their brands work so differently than mine, and they're able to schedule. Like they know exactly what's coming out, and how it's gonna work, what it's gonna go with, why is it seasonal? You know, like all these things. I never have to worry about the taps. <laughs> as, as you know, as I've done some research too, because I before I I started this, uh, well, help start this, I should say. Um, I want to, I just wanted to brew beer. Uh, just my own because, you know, we got tired of going every week and getting something. And so I was like, why not just have five gallons of beer mm -hmm. hanging out, waiting for me? Right. <laughs> or, or a keg or however I wanted to do it. I did, you know, of course, as, you're, as they're saying, um, they have the schedule. Well, depending on what style they want to make, has that fermentation and... Uh, Condition depending if you put in a bottle, of course. But if you're going straight to tap, you know you don't have to worry about that conditioning. You, you know you get it there. But yeah, you know each style has its length, and I can definitely see how they're planning. And just only hard part for me is trying to figure out what flavors to put together. Oh yeah, <laughs> every day, every day. If I'm sitting down here, so my office is upstairs. Mm -hmm. But if I happen to put my laptop down, it I don't get to sit for more than 30 minutes without three or four samples in front of me because I been tasting and drinking wine and taking classes on wine since college mm -hmm. and so they want it they always want my palate too right so we've got a cicerone and you know as one of our brewers and we all like just talk about it. the other day they brought one out and i tried it and i kind of made a face and matt was like what i, was like, I don't know how to say this i don't taste anything and he was like that's what same okay we're not crazy like we don't all have covid yeah we just there's something missing and then they're like okay we know exactly what hop we're gonna put in it nice. to bring out you That's know xyz <laughs> so it's fun it's totally collaborative i didn't think i would get to be so involved in it but i love how much collaboration you guys have going on it's like yeah. business collaboration taste collaboration mm -hmm. all of that that's really it's really cool to me yeah. i feel like i'm saying the same words a lot but <laughs> We have a staff meeting every week, so that's nice. pretty rare for a restaurant. Hashtag. Yeah. Hashtag. Hashtag. Hashtag collaboration. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I definitely, like, as a retail, I'm a retail manager, mm -hmm. we only ever really get to have two meetings every month, mm -hmm. and even that, it's like, this month we've had, like, none. Yeah. So it's like, yeah, that's hard to have a meeting every week. So uh, one thing I was thinking about is, like before you came into the brewing business, did you know a lot about beer or like, did you, so you learned a lot on the job? A lot, yeah. <laughs> um, no, I came into the beer business being a wine snob. Mm -hmm. um, as snobby as I can be, I'm not like a smallie by any means. No. Uh, so Those yeah, I learned a lot. <laughs> I shadowed brewers. Um, 
asked a lot of questions. I still ask questions. John over at Script Town is like speed dial. Hey, how do I do this? <laughs> um, and he's such a good teacher. Like it's so important to keep your community close in the brewing world. But no, I don't. I didn't know a thing about it. They've taught me so much, which is why I learn something new every day. I can take credit for connecting some tubing and piping nice. in there. <laughs> So I'm an official brewer. You put it there. Oh yeah. 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 And if they let me like touch a button, yeah. I probably talk about it all day. Like just so you all know, yeah. I brewed something today. And they're like, Melanie, stop. I touched it. It's me. It's gonna be owner slash brewer. That's yeah. all it is. Right? This one is. This one is. Yeah. yeah. It's gonna say on the menu. It's gonna be like by Melanie slash. <laughs> <laughs> well, so we actually have staff tabs. Really? So we do ten um, ten gallon brews. It's like micro brews um, on our like little system that we bring up from the basement to the brewery, and the staff get to put their own like beer together with the brewers, and then oh, it's on tap cool. for as long as it's there. So I'm in line, but I think I'm last. Oh. You know, oh, it's unfortunate. It happens. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be here the longest, you know. So. Right. <laughs> so, <laughs> has there been a lot of collaboration between like local brewers with you guys? We have. Um, a collab with Script Town currently. They okay. came in and we are making a Dortmonger. So it's, it's uh, a release for Father's Day. It's called the Dad Bod Dort. <laughs> um, I just nice. approved all the artwork for the labels. Nice. So we'll can everything here and okay. then they're going to purchase through distribution, you know, no, yeah. rig and roll. But they'll just they'll grab some kegs and some cans from us and sell. Nice. Yeah. But that's like. Maybe it. I mean, most of our ingredients are local, like as much as we can do. Mm -hmm. And even the meat that we bring in from certain farms is fed by our spent grain. Oh, oh nice. So, yeah, we try really hard to keep things local. Honey was like the most recent. I asked for honey for my oatmeal the other day, and Brewer Matt brought out a five gallon bucket. Awesome. And I was like, what am I supposed to do with this? <laughs> you know, because honey never stops. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, for and sure. I was like, the <laughs> <laughs> gonna have so, a, a bowl full of honey stinky. with oatmeal. Yes, yes. <laughs> it's, it's honey. Yeah, honey yeah. with oatmeal. Yeah. Honey with Just oatmeal. Just dump your oatmeal into the honey bucket. Right. Like, yeah. Had I done that, mm. I'd have been in trouble. <laughs> yeah. Would have been upset. So my question is, sure. you might have said this already. Um, you probably did. I would say, what is your flagship brew? You said it was the Starburst uh, mm -hmm. IPN and the uh, Porter. Yes. Anything else that might be close to those two? Um, I mean, we look at most sold beers every week. The Fiesta de Sol has really taken, it's like jumped in the reins. Nice. Oh, for right. the top three, which is exciting. That I, We didn't think we'd brew it more than once, and it's back in the tank. So even though it was hol like a holiday beer, um, it seems to be going very well. All of our sours sell out very quickly. <laughs> so like that one will go quick. I know we're almost out of the raspberry. You better get it. It's, yeah, it's yeah. going to get some of that. I suggest a crown. It's going quick right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I mean. No, it's not. I'm, I'm savoring it. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> and then we had a Pilsner that went over really, really well. Nice. Um, we call it light sh speed, like light speed. Yes. Ah. Um, do and you, that, do that you have any favorites? That's tough because like, she loves them all equally. Yeah, they're all, they're all perfect <laughs> babies. Um, oh, and that's funny because I don't. There are some that I'm like, they're just not for me. Oh yeah. Um, but that's that's beer as a whole, right? That yeah. is beer as a whole. Uh, yeah. That's me and most IPAs. I say you with IPAs. <laughs> um, I mean, I'm. I just I love. It's beer. I'll, I'll give it a try. Give it a shot. Yeah. I mean, it's there's. Not for. What was it? There was a. Uh, it was an old German beer. My uh, one of the other beer soccer's brought. Um, it was it was a smoked beer. Ooh, um, yeah, one of those on tap a couple weeks ago. It it was just so weird. Like when we when we, you know when we when we took our uh, the nose of it was like it smelled like a barbecue, mm -hmm. and I was all like, oh yeah. And then when it tasted, Violet. it tasted uh, just smoky and just you know was smooth with it too. It yeah. wasn't harsh. Nothing you know came up. I was all like. Um, those, uh, and I think it, I think it was uh, I think it was came from a, a like the recipe itself was like from a monastery. Yeah. yeah. And a lot of brew a lot of brews come from monasteries because monks have nothing better to do than make beer. <laughs> Why not? You know? 
I mean? Oh, we did our praying for the day. Oh, no, no, there, there's, uh, oh, there's, uh, there's our barrels that we need to make sure it fermented, right? Right. Yeah. That's, a, that's impressive. Yeah, you know. I, I always go for the sours. Oh. I mean, that's just my, my jam. And that was the funny thing. Sours, I used to hate sours. Any sour. Mm -hmm. It was just weird. And then one day, something clicked. Just yeah. switched. I was all like, all right, I'll give us. I'm like, oh, oh. <laughs> okay, maybe it's just this one. Try another one. Try, I just tried a bunch of them. I'm like, it's like, mm. Mm, sours, mm -hmm. and then other people are like, "Oh, sours are horrible." Mm, no. No, that's fine. More for me. Mm. Like, no problem. He showed us like uh, he showed him sours first. Yeah. And he was like, "I'm really into this," and I tried it. I was like, "This is this is interesting. It's yeah. really good." Yeah, and then some like some sours hit you at the tip of your tongue, mm -hmm. some on the sides, and some you know wait till they're in the back of the throat. I prefer the ones that are like in the back. like they get you. Mm. Like, oh, oh yeah. there it is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I like the ones where you drink, you're like, oh, it's not, I'm like, oh, oh, there it is, there it is. Yeah, they're always fun. Do you, do you have, like, a favorite style of beer? Is it, is it sours, or? Um, probably, like, favorite, favorite is an, an oatmeal. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I do like a dark beer. Um, it just reminds me of winter and yep. you know being oh, yeah. in a curled up in a blanket even though I hate the cold but like alcohol warms you up yeah, so for that's sure. fine yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah I would say those in general but I've learned so much about different styles of beer like my like I had no idea there were so many <laughs> um, so now it is hard to say like a favorite yeah because before you came in I was like looking at the menu I was like alright Raul what's a wit Right? <laughs> and I started explaining a little, I was like, this is like that. Like, yeah. 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 Hopefully the, the little blurbs, you know, help you understand oh, yeah. exactly yeah. like what you're going to get. That's why I couldn't pick, because I was like, know. they all sound so good. <laughs> See, since, since I, you know, had so many, I, actually, I just did a, a catalog of all the beers that we tasted in our official tasting videos which range over to 164 oh my god different beers so i've been in every video yeah so that's 164 beers that i've tasted and yeah. i'm just looking through the whole catalog i'm all like all right yeah. so you remember every single one of them. no i do not. <laughs> not, not not at the moment if i see it i go oh i remember that, that one. Yeah. but what i what i like to do now is Unfortunately, I like to go by name. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, that's an interesting name. Let's find out why they named it that. Mm -hmm. So, like, which one are you gonna ask me about? Oh no, I'm not. <laughs> I'm gonna get my spreadsheet out. No, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm just gonna keep looking. But like, that's an interesting name. Yeah. I'm gonna get that. Yeah. I'm gonna take that home. I'm gonna be like, yes. But I, I the reason why, because I'm um, doing a lot of uh, spotlight, the spotlight videos we have. I'm doing a few brewery tours, and they, mm -hmm. you know, explaining why certain they do a certain style, mm -hmm. like how Lucky But it, Lucky Lucky Bucket <laughs> did their pre uh, pre prohibition lager, uh -huh. yeah. and it's like, why'd you name it pre uh, prohibition? And they explain why. I'm yeah. like, okay, that makes sense. And then going on, um, like the Red Sunshine, basically what, we, what me and uh, another stock called Gummy Bear beer, because it's. It's ridiculous. It's an IPA that doesn't taste like an IPA that tastes like melted gummy bears. Yeah, that's okay. Cool. And I'm all like, I can see why they call it red sunshine. Yeah. It's red, it tastes like sunshine. <laughs> it's amazing. Yes. So what I do now is, okay, like I said, horn of berries. I go, all right, I see horn of berries. I see, oh, okay, it's a Bach. I'm gonna get that one. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't see the name for the ghost, but it said guava lime, and I saw it on Instagram, and I was like, yeah, I'm gonna get that. Yeah. I already had that plan way before I came today. <laughs> I was like, I'm getting that. One. I love that. Yeah, our sours fall under the Skyline of Sour series. Mm -hmm. So we don't really like name them beyond that. We just throw the flavor out. And so oh, yeah. Really like, check it out. It. Nice. Yeah. Okay. And I, I sort of like that, like, uh, Sign one is sort of more of this like springboard for like trying all these sorts of flavors, and then you guys kind of. Uh, Unite, unite them sort of under this theme of like sort of spacey name. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And it's, it's a requirement. They can do. <laughs> I have only vetoed like two or three names. Still, tell I vetoed like a hundred, but <laughs> truly vetoed like, like I've read it. It's in my spreadsheet, and I'm like, you can't. No, nope. you can't call it that. You cannot call it that. And they're like, why? And I just say it, and they're like, oh my gosh, we had no, nope, yep, next. <laughs> I mean, um, it sounds great in your head. 
Yeah, it did. And you had to say, you had to say it, Someone somebody has to say it out loud. Yeah. And they're like, oh, that you're right. Be perceived in a certain way. Yeah, yeah. that's usually mm-hmm. what happens. So how, how is it like working with like, I kind of think of brewers as more of like the artistic side of like the business because they're yeah. like they're like getting in those flavors. Mm-hmm. Like, is it interesting working with those sort of personalities? Well, I would say, I mean, coming from my perspective of having two, mm-hmm. we definitely have creative, and then we have like a very pragmatic brewer. Yes. Um. So they both know the system like in and out. They know you know how to do all the calculations. Thankfully, I don't have to do any of that. I just report <laughs> it every month like I'm supposed to. Mm-hmm. Um. I have said it to them. They know they are like nerds. Yeah. <laughs> like through and through to the core. And they have a joke now with me. I'm a part of it because it's not it's not wrong. They can see me glaze over. So I oh, I constantly have three thousand things going through my head because we're under construction here and we're almost built you know, done building here. We're gonna sign you know, yeah, there's other stuff going on and there's front of house, back of house. And they'll start going off on chemical reactions and and I'm and I will go, yeah. And then, and then kind of like look away. And just the other day, Dave was like, oh, we lost her. Yeah. And I was like, what? Yeah. You, yes. Uh, what did you say the last five minutes? Because I have not been here in this space. Yeah. I, 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 I know that feeling too well when I'll be, I decide, okay, I'm going to get a new brew that I've never had bring it in. And I'm drinking in. I'm usually by myself in my office. Drinking these beers, uh, I'm actually watching writing, YouTube, watching YouTube, writing notes. Hanging out, yeah. And then, but if I'm if I'm watching something with my wife, mm-hmm. I'll be drinking and be all like, oh, and I'm telling her the notes and everything before reading anything yeah. about it, and she's she's just there looking at me like, oh, nice. I go, I'm just looking at her and go, mm, you don't know anything I'm talking about. Never mind. Never mind. Yeah, that's me. Yeah. That's me and her. <laughs> We're like. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if, if you see some of our videos, I, I, when I edit them, I, we're, we're talking, I'm, we're talking through it, she's just like... At least you're smiling though, right? Yeah. <laughs> you have it like a breeze of doubt. She's like, I got a beer, it's fine. She, yeah. She's either smiling and quiet or yelling, yeah, hmm. which is fun. Yeah, which is fun. It's fine. Nikita gets. And then the dog, the the mascot comes in every once in a while. You hear Dick's click clack. It's trash. Yes. It's fine. I got yes. <laughs> oh, but that's totally you when like I talk about my nerd stuff. You're like, uh huh. Mm-hmm. That's great. Yeah. <laughs> so they're creatives yeah. and they're logistics fiends, and I mm-hmm. I can hang on for a little bit. For long enough. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, and then. With that, um, like you said, with everything going on, mm-hmm. any events that you might do with uh, with Site One, or uh, maybe some type of beer fest that you uh, you would represent Site One there with randoms that yeah in the future yeah like, for sure. So my background is event management and planning, mm-hmm. so it's like the back of my hand. Yeah. Um, but there, I think they're in five or six pouring events this year on like this summer mm-hmm. so they have their jockey box and got them their branded tablecloths um and they're smaller like there's one that's a golf course event so they're like at two holes which is great like that's great there's a high V event so i think everything is kind of on a smaller scale this year is just you know extreme caution i do think that things will quickly change like yeah. by the end of june i think we're gonna see a lot more calendar events which is great i hope so i, I hope been, so too. I, I, i've been i've been craving a beer fest for so long <laughs> these two haven't been to one i've been Not to yet. every single omaha one that they could think of mm-hmm. and I, it just my loot as i call it if, if i did a video it would be too long but <laughs> i have and they actually went through it. I had, I had so much stuff from all the beer <laughs> fest, yeah. all the swag, um, bottle openers, just um, glassware galore. No, no. Well, oh. well, the sampling glasses. Yes, yes, yes. Of course. Um, 
Got a Deschutes bottle cap opener from you. Uh, uh, just uh, in, um, coast, a, oh, so coasters. Nice. Oh my goodness. Sarpy so County's nice. horrors and flashlights. Sure, everybody has a flashlight. <laughs> so many stickers. Same. Same. Stickers, oh, I love the stickers. <laughs> Actually, I'll have to get you some stickers. With, with, oh, with, um, with my office, I was thinking of putting one wall, just all the stickers that I got, just plaster them. That'd be cool. Just, and then put a little table or shelf, and I can take the pictures of the beers that we actually review, so it actually yeah. has a background and not just oh, weird. That's that'd be really cool. And that's one interesting thing about like local brewing communities is like you're you're <laughs> you're not gonna go get like a sticker or a hat or like a shirt or something for you know Bud Light necessarily. No, probably not. <laughs> you might get a hand it to you for free. Yeah, actually, yeah. but I, like, I did get a, I got Samuel Adams flip flops. Very nice. Did it have a bottle opener? <laughs> no, we did not. It was just, just, just huh. flip flops. I'm just like, I was a little disappointed, but I mean, I, all I had to do was uh, take a picture at the beer fest, yeah. um, tag Samuel Adams, and they, they're like, okay, let me look. Oh, there it is. Oh, okay. Here's your flip flops. What size flip flops? Um, Thirteen. There you go. I'm like, yeah, love it. and it came. It came in a bag, so I took the flip flops out, put them in my bag, and used the bag for everything else. Yes. Oh, yeah. 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 I was all like, but so like, uh, I just think it's cool because like people will like represent their like favorite like local brewery. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. like local brewery. And and that's what I love about Fear Fest because yeah, it, local brewers will be there or a representative of the brewery yeah. mm-hmm. will be there explain everything about the brewers that they actually have there. Um, and some of them would be, you know, like, um, who was it? I think it was Bells. Yes, Bells. Mm-hmm. They had a representative there. Important, of course, their brewers can be there, but the representative there, top knowledge of everything mm-hmm. about it. And that that one was the Oberon. Yeah, also like, that's a good. I was like, I've had Oberon before, and they explained it to me and go, that makes sense. Yes, yes. Because I like to test when when there's people that I'm like I like to test them on it. Oh. If if I know the brew, <laughs> yeah. if I drink it constantly and I know it, then yeah, I like to test them on it and just see what happens. And sometimes I'll trip them and like, I did not know that. I go I looked it up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I googled it. I was all like, uh. it was on the website. Just drink it away. Like, all right, now you know something. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> want to to bring it back to festivals we want to do an event i'm not going to tell you what the theme is because okay. there's definitely there's a definite theme and we have to notify breweries because we'll have to start making it but okay. um we have a parking lot across the street and so we would barricade off um part of the street and the parking lot and have just an outdoor festival this well, fall i'll say that's what uh, that's i think crescent moon does that they yeah, the street the street right next to it they they literally barricaded off October Fest. This year, this year, uh, Bach Fest. Mm -hmm. The street was open, Um, but October Fest, they they closed it down. You, they need that room. Shut it down. We need to get drunk. Be a little bit careful. Oh yeah. People stumble down that. Oh my gosh. You know how many? I because I volunteer. I love volunteering for for those. um, so last year when I volunteered for Oktoberfest, mm-hmm. it was a little bit better because of everything happened. The year before though, mm-hmm. oh, it was so packed. Every about five, six minutes, broken glass. Broken glass. Broken glass. Oh, yeah. Gotta wear your shoes. And, to I'm, shoes. and I'm just there like putting more glasses out and like somebody's gonna come buy some more. Yeah. <laughs> That's okay. Alright. Um in the, I thought you had I, I think I'm all burned out on You're burned out? Alright. It was very nice talking to you. Yeah. Yes, it was great. Uh, sure. Well, hope, um, if everybody was available, it would have been a whole bunch of people. Oh but, my gosh. But I got my go-tos right here yeah. for now. Perfect. Ride or die. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, really, I'm here to learn. I'm here to ask questions. Um, but yeah, we actually are looking into um, education ones. Yeah. Because I got I threw him on the sour, so he's researching. I got Theory. porters, I, uh, porters and stouts. Mm-hmm. It's amazing how close they are together. Yes. But yes. yeah, so it's all a change of temperature in there. <laughs> yes. Yeah, something That's different. A lot. Yep. So yeah, we do appreciate you taking the time out, get, uh, telling us about Site One and um, everything about it and how it wouldn't be Site One if somebody didn't get all uppity about the name. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's true. But, but, but it's okay. It's their name. Yeah. Site One is a cool name. Yeah. Yes. We like our new Cause I, I, 
when I was following on when I on Instagram, I'm like, Site One, that's interesting. I'm just following just for the name, and then the beers that I'm seeing there, I'm all like, Oh yeah, I need to go buy there. And just the area you're in with, yeah. uh, like I said, you, you here, um, Farnham, Script Town, um, just so many, um, there's yeah, a, there's, that's not Omaha, this whole area is very, there's, um, this major somewhere around here. That's on Center. Yeah, it's on, yeah. it's just, this just Maybe area. Brickway. Brickway, ah, oh, yes, Brickway. Uh, there's all sorts of no, stuff in this area. Upstream. Upstream. Upstream, yeah, yes. There's, Upstream is, yeah, yes. lots. Yeah. But yeah, um, thanks again. Yeah, thank you for coming. Where could they find you online? I know Instagram. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, so Instagram is Site One Brewing, Facebook Site Hyphen One Brewing, um, and then online www.siteonebrewing.com. So we'll we'll put definitely put that in the description or what else? Where you know you know, you know how we do it somewhere up here. <laughs> Of course, you know you follow. Like, subscribe. Yeah. <laughs> oh, follow. It's around somewhere. <laughs> it's wherever it's like, wherever it's good. Block yeah. me yeah. out. It, it works. You know, we don't see me all the time. But you know, like also follow us on our all of our social media: Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Untapped. Um, like, subscribe, share. Good, all the good stuff, and um, yeah. So really appreciate it. I'm gonna have to go. Oh. oh, I was going to say, come check out Yes, one. definitely come check them out. Yes. <laughs> 20, 20 taps. Come on, you can't get Yeah, 20 that. taps. You're going to find something you like. Absolutely. And if you don't, you have no reason drinking beer. If you don't, come back next week. Yeah, honestly. <laughs> there you go. There's probably other 15 other uh, bars that have our beer right now. Oh, so awesome. Keep an eye out for the giant uh, gold rocket that is on beer taps. For sure. Near you. There it is. <laughs> All right. As, as as always, uh, stay classy and I tap that. Cheers.